Welcome. Today we're talking about the three quick ways to make going pro easier. And these are things that I really wish I knew when starting my own training teaching business. It would have made things so much easier in how I actually prepared to go pro. So we're gonna cover three things that I know are going to help you a lot, no matter where you are currently on your own path to pro, whether you're planning on launching a couple years from now or ready to start in the next month or so. So let's dive in. The first piece is know where you're going. When we think about a pro career training business, Oftentimes, I see future professionals thinking about one of two things. I see them thinking about the Olympian, that type of business model where they're high performance, a whole string of horses, they have sponsorships, chasing owners, they're going for those team spots. And that's often what we see on social media and on our media sites, equine media sites and all of that. And then the counter business model that we often see is the very much the entry level lesson barn down the road. So we have, we kind of see and are most exposed to oftentimes these two business models. And so when we're thinking about our own business model, we either think, oh, I'm either here or I'm here. And that's just not true. So what I like to think about it is this industry is in, in something that I call, and that is called the sports development pyramid. So think about our industry as a pyramid, where at the very top, we have those elite riders. And then at the base, we have those grassroots lesson programs and all the way through this, through the middle, right? All the way through. So the idea is with this pyramid, and this goes along with all different sports, is that there's the majority of people in our sport here at the base. And so when you're setting up your business, your version of pro, remember, there's likely the most opportunity serving the grassroots in the mid-level of the sport. And then from there, being able to specialize. Yes, there are those fully comprehensive programs, like, you know, teaching, training, competing, all, you know, all of the things. But oftentimes, professionals will focus on one piece. So I'll give you a really specific example of a business model that often don't really think about. There are highly reputable pros out there where their business model is solely based on money coming in from clinics, traveling for clinics. So how do they promote themselves? They're promoting themselves by attending all the horse expos, all the big horse symposiums, whatever, all the big organization talks, and they're sharing their expertise. And then people know them from that, as well as they're writing, they're writing articles, they're getting invited to other digital platforms, they maybe even have written a book or two, and people know them and will invite them to, to teach. And that really is the primary as money-making aspect, revenue-generating aspect of their business. Those type of individuals are really, really focused on the clinic aspect of their businesses. And that's great because they probably really enjoy teaching, for example. Of course, everyone loves being around horses and training and riding as well, but for, as far as their business, they know who they're serving. The other thing is when knowing where you're going is who your audience is, like who are your main customers? Is it the kids after school or is it the older adult amateur who now has a little bit more flexibility of time and finances and now wants to move up the levels of dressage, right? That's figuring out who you best, who you are in this industry and your vo version of pro will not only help you find success, but will help you feel very satisfied in that role as well. Number two, this is something I wish I had done a bit more consciously before I went pro, which is build your network. And in fact, most of you are probably already doing this without even knowing it. So think about the people that are closest to you right now, your trainer, your riding lesson buddies, your the grooms in your barn, uh, their horse people in your local equine and equestrian club, all of these people actually are your network. They are not only your future clients or will give you referrals to future clients, but could potentially open up a lot of opportunities to ride nice horses, train nice horses, and so forth. So leverage those opportunities now, those people. Build true, authentic relationships. And when you meet people in real life, like at a show or a clinic, connect with them on social media. 
like bridge the in-person world with the digital world so that when you share updates, when they share updates, you can stay connected. Otherwise, our, our networks, while they're there, they can kind of dwindle out. So we want to not only make and build our network, but then maintain it. By the way, I have linked the seven day roadmap series. It's a seven day video series down below. Free, highly recommend this. In one of those videos, I talk in great detail about building your network. So go ahead, it's linked below, check that out. Um, but that's something that when I announced that I was launching my business, I was surprised that a lot of people, like the parents of Pony Club kids that I taught at camps like years before that, had followed me and said, oh, that's so great. I'm so happy and not only were they individuals that I eventually worked with, like traveled to them to teach more clinics and things like that, but they were also key referrals. And when I was looking for horses for clients, for example, I'm trying to source horses, you know, having that bigger network to really leverage and lean into is super, super helpful and will just give you a whole step up. So grow and support your network. And then finally, the third piece is outline the credentials you need to go pro now before you actually launch your business. In the Path to Pro course, I outline the Path to Pro framework, which is focused on riding, horse management, and business. Those are the three pillars of credentials that I focus on. So riding, you think of training, teaching, that type of aspect, right? For horse management, you think of not only not only selecting our equine partners, but also managing day to day and then managing them in a high performance way to help them do their job to the best of their ability. And then finally, business, right? To be a successful professional, we need to have all three. So for business, it's being able to know your numbers. Which services are you going to actually offer in your business? Are you going to be that comprehensive program? Writing, teaching, training, clinics, shows, boarding, all of that? Or maybe are you going to focus on starting young horses and be known for that and why? Um, and then marketing and so forth with, with business. So take a bit of an inventory on your own set of knowledge and skills and experiences of where you see yourself, going back to number one, who you want to be in the industry as a professional. Take an inventory of those areas and then figure out what you need more time and experience in. So for me, if I, in my business, I would have spent more time in selecting, learning how to select ideal horses. And it's not just horses that are going to make it to the top of the sport. For me, I knew how to pick horses that I could train quickly and resell to safely, like to safely secure a great home with an adult amateur in the lower levels of eventing, could keep them safe, easy to ride, train them easy to ride. But what was a little bit more challenging when I started my business is I needed to find horses and source horses for really ambitious riders and adult amateurs who were both, one, happy and pleasant in their jobs at a certain price point as well, but then also had the athletic potential to that was maybe kind of hidden right within that budget or, or so forth. And so if I had had that knowledge, a little bit more experience maybe with uh, a a respected mentor or other professional, that could have really jump started my business a little bit faster in those categories because there were some parts that were a little bit, you know, it, everything worked out, but it could have been a lot easier finding horses and then making sure that horse and rider pairs were really set up for success. So as you're starting your path to pro and ready to launch your business, whatever that will be, these are three things that are going to be making your path to pro, going pro, a lot easier. So let's review. One, know where you're going. Make your version of pro. Two, build your network. Continue, use the network that you have and keep expanding that. And then three, outline your credentials and fill in the gaps where needed so that it really aligns with the version of pro that you see yourself in someday. If we have not met, I'm Dr. Emily Irving Cordera, the founder of the Rising Equestrian Pro, which is all about helping you prepare for your pro career and finding success once you launch as a professional. So stay tuned, <laughs> check out the other videos on this channel, and write a comment below of what your biggest takeaway was from this video. And I'll see you later, bye-bye.